Alpena Community College softball hit the diamond Friday afternoon with a doubleheader versus Oakland. Friday was also the Lady Jacks home opener. The Raiders from Oakland Community College in town versus the Jacks looking to secure that first win. Top one, ACC threatening. Base is loaded, two down. Alexa Quain with the short fly, but Jordan Johnson charges, fires the first, no damage done. To the bottom of the first, and it's Millie Talaga, and she gets just enough of this off-speed pitch, and it falls into shallow right field. Zara O'Connor races around third. She will score, and Oakland is on the board. Two batters later, Mac Norton comes up, and she hits this sharp ground ball to second. Quain comes home with it. It's not in time, and the Raiders lead by two. Aubrey Long would follow, and she too wanted to join the fun. She smokes this fastball deep to right center. It rolls all the way to the fence. Norton showcasing the wheels, rounding third. She would score. It's a two-run double, and OCC leads by four. Now in the second, it's 6-0 with two honors on, and Jessica Steele enters the launching pad. She goes full extension, and this one goes a long way. It's a three-run Jimmy Jack. The Raiders were simply too much. They would go on and win 9-0, and that would be your final after just five innings. After a 20-minute break, these two met for game number two, and unfortunately, things weren't much different. Top three, Oakland already up 4-0 when the Jacks get things going. Paige Chimera hits a shallow fly ball to left. That'll fall, and ACC has just their second base runner of the game. Ashley Meyer stepped in next, and she lines this pitch through the hole, and just like that, the Jacks are cooking with one in scoring position. Two batters later, with runners on the corner, Alexa Quain hits this ground ball to short. Millie Talaga can't handle it, and Chimera crosses the plate. The ACC deficit is now three. It's just the 12th run of the season for the Jacks, but the Raiders would take over from there. Bottom half, Kendra Cole bounces one in the dirt, and Shamira can't handle it. Delaga trots home, and it's 5-1 Oakland. Next inning, now 6-1 Oakland, and Morgan Box ropes this fastball deep to left. It's over the head of Nikki Flanagan and off the fence. Aubrey Long scores. The Raiders would tack on a couple more before this one came to a close. Oakland would win game two, 9-1. to one. The Lady Lumberjacks will look to get back on the winning track Saturday afternoon when they meet St. Clair. Well, if tonight wasn't a do-or-die moment, it was about as close as you can get for the Detroit Pistons. The dropping games one and two in Cleveland, the series shifted back to Detroit for games three and four this weekend. Needing to find ways to score more points and prevent Kyrie Irving from having a field day, Detroit had a tall task in front of them Friday night. To the Palace we go, and the crowd was in full throat from tip-off. But unfortunately, this game played out similarly to games one and two. In the first, Reggie Jackson drives strong. He stops, pops from 19, count it, Pistons up six. Later in the first, Marcus Morris drives baseline. He can't finish underneath, but Aaron Baines says, oh no, let's go, as he cleans up the glass with the tip in. Pistons would lead by three after one. We jump ahead to the third. Pistons are up one with a little two-man game as Reggie Jackson splits the defenders and with the floater in traffic, give him two. Timeout Cleveland. But after the timeout, the Cavs went to work. Off the inbound, LeBron finds Tristan Thompson for the free throw line jumper. Later in the third, Cleveland with good ball movement as LeBron finds J.R. Smith in the corner. Contested three, ring it up. The fourth quarter is where Cleveland would pull away. Matthew Delavadova plays a little pick and roll with LeBron James, and LeBron finishes strong at the rack, count it, and the foul. The Cavs take game three, 101-91, and push the Pistons to the brink of elimination with a commanding 3-0 series lead. The Tigers are back at Comerica Park Friday evening looking to get back into the win column. The Indians would get on the scoreboard first. Top of the first, Carlos Santana plays the guitar all over this fastball offering from Justin Verlander and goes Bridgeworth. His third home run of the year, 1-0 tries. But Detroit would answer in the bottom of the sixth with runners on first. Justin Upton smokes this pitch into left center field. Ian Kinsler gets on his horse and he will score all the way from first as this throw is not in time. We are now tied at one. But in the top of the seventh, it's Mr. Bird. Marlon Bird goes oppo taco with his second home run of the season. 2-1 Cleveland. Bottom of the ninth, Cody Allen gets J.D. Martinez to fly out the right. And that's your ball game. The Indians knock off the Tigers 2-1. to one. Detroit has now lost five of their last seven games. Michigan State softball opened up their three-game series versus Northwestern with a tough 8-0 loss. Michigan State falls to 22-23 on the season. The Wolverines, on the other hand, opened up their three-game series versus Maryland with a big 9-1 victory. Michigan improves to 35-4 on the season. 
Michigan State baseball opened up their three-game series versus Indiana with a tough 3-2 loss. State falls to 26-9 on the season. Michigan, however, was able to take game one of their three-game series versus Iowa 8-4. Michigan improves to 27-9 on the season.